वेलकम नेम ऑफ टॉपिक रिजोल्यूशन एंड कंपोजिशन ऑफ फोर्सेस क्लास सी टू आई सब्जेक्ट अप्लाइड मैकेनिक्स मार्क्स ऑफ टॉपिक 14 टू 20 मार्क्स दिस इज पार्ट वन प्रेजेंटेड बाय प्रोफेसर खमकर यू बी विश्वेश्वरया अभियांत्रिकी पदविका महाविद्यालय अलमला लातूर सो फर्स्ट कंटेंट्स कंपोजिशन ऑफ फोर्सेस रिजल्टंट इक्विलिब्रियम मेथड्स ऑफ डिटर्मिनेशन ऑफ रिजल्टंट फॉर डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ फोर्स सिस्टीम एग्जाम्पल्स ऑन कॉन्क्रंट फोर्स सिस्टीम फर्स्ट डेफिनेशन रिजोल्यूशन ऑफ फोर्स द वे ऑफ रिप्रेजेंटिंग अ सिंगल फोर्स इन टू नंबर ऑफ फोर्सेस विदाउट चेंजिंग द इफेक्ट ऑफ द फोर्स ऑन द बॉडी इज कॉल्ड एज रिजोल्यूशन ऑफ फोर्स इन रिजोल्यूशन वी कन्वर्ट अ सिंगल फोर्स इन टू नंबर ऑफ फोर्सेस विदाउट चेंजिंग द इफेक्ट ऑफ द फोर्स ऑन द बॉडी नेक्स्ट कंपोजिशन ऑफ फोर्सेस द प्रोसेस ऑफ फाइंडिंग आउट द रिजल्टंट फोर्स ऑफ अ गिवन सिस्टीम ऑफ फोर्स इज कॉल्ड एज कंपोजिशन ऑफ फोर्सेस रिजल्टंट फोर्स आर अ सिंगल फोर्स विच कैन प्रोड्यूस द सेम इफेक्ट एज इट इज प्रोड्यूस बाय द नंबर ऑफ फोर्सेस ऑफ द फोर्स सिस्टीम एक्टिंग ऑन अ बॉडी body always moves in the direction of resultant force equilibrium force a single force which keep the body at rest is in or is in equilibrium equilibrium force and resultant force equal in magnitude but acting in opposite direction now see what is resultant force and equilibrium force concept of resultant and equilibrium force suppose two forces f1 and f2 are acting on a rigid body this is one rigid body and f1 and f2 two forces are acting on this body the f1 force in the direction right direction and f2 in upward direction then the effect of f1 and f2 force is given by a single force which is called as resultant and this resultant is in between f1 and f2 this is and the direction of resultant is in upward direction this is known as resultant force this resultant value gives the same effect on rigid body as f1 and f2 gives and the body moves in the direction of resultant we want a rigid body at in stable condition or in equilibrium condition or at a rest therefore the equilibrium force is acted opposite to resultant force that is in this direction this is the equilibrium force and the angle theta is next to the horizontal axis now next orthogonal or rectangular components if the force f can makes an angle theta with horizontal x axis this force can be resolved into two rectangular components as shown in figure therefore two rectangular components are first one horizontal component which is denoted by f of x is equal to f cos theta vertical component which is denoted by fy is equal to f sin theta now what is sign conventions for these components suppose f1 force is acted in the upward direction at an angle of theta with horizontal axis let's assume this is a horizontal axis this is a vertical axis the f1 force makes an angle theta with horizontal x axis then this f1 force we resolve in two components that is horizontal component and vertical component the first we resolve in horizontal component that is f1 cos theta second vertical component that is f f1 sin theta let's see another example of f2 force the f2 force is in downward direction 
which makes an angle theta with horizontal axis this is theta with horizontal x axis now we resolve this f2 force in two components that is horizontal component and vertical component first horizontal component is f2 cos theta second vertical component is f2 sin theta now see what is sign conventions first f1 sin theta is in upward direction and second f2 sin theta is in downward direction first horizontal component f1 cos theta in right direction second f2 cos theta is also in right direction therefore the sign conventions are for horizontal component if the force is in the right direction then taken as positive and if the force in left direction then it is taken as negative now see what is sign convention for vertical component if the force is in upward direction then taken as positive if the force in downward direction it is taken as negative as per this sign convention while solving the problems we give the signs for each forces now steps to solve concurrent force system step 1 resolve all forces horizontally and calculate summation f of x by using equation summation f of x is equal to 0 step 2 resolve all vertically forces and calculate summation f of y by using equation summation f of y is equal to 0 step 3 calculate resultant magnitude that is r the formula for calculate resultant r is equal to square root of summation f of x square plus summation f of y square step 4 direction of resultant that is theta which is calculated by theta is equal to tan inverse of summation f of y divided by summation f of x the value which we calculate in step 1 and step 2 theta is always measured from the x axis or horizontal axis now see resultant position for concurrent force system where this resultant is acted in the force system suppose this is horizontal axis x vertical axis y these are four quadrant quadrant 1 quadrant 2 quadrant 3 and quadrant 4 in which this quadrant resultant is acted let's see suppose the value of f of x and f of y both are positive then resultant in first quadrant let's see another if f of x and f of y both are positive then resultant is lies in first quadrant with angle theta if the value of f of x negative and value of f of y positive then resultant is lies in second quadrant if both f of x and f of y are negative then the resultant is in third quadrant and if f of x is positive and f of y is negative then the resultant is in fourth quadrant while calculating while we see numericals these conditions are useful to locate the position of resultant which is depends on f of x and f of y signs now what is the methods for determination of resultant for force system first force two forces at an angle of theta if two forces are acted on a body at an angle of theta this type of problems or force system are calculated by using law of parallelogram one force resolve in two direction in first case we 
have two forces in second case we have only one force and this one force we have to resolve in two direction which are non orthogonal it means not in horizontal and not in vertical direction third one concurrent force system the concurrent force system are calculated by two methods first one is analytical and second one is graphical the analytical method we mention above step 1 step 2 step 3 and step 4 last one is coplanar non concurrent force system or like unlike parallel force system this type of problems we solve analytical as well as graphical method to solve by analytical method we use varignan's theorem of moment thank you in part 2 we will see solved examples on concurrent force system by using this theoretical part thank you